The government's plan to impose a 2.5% tax on motor vehicles continues to face resistance with the latest coming from those expected to implement the collection of the tax. Underwriters umbrella body, the Association of Kenya Insurers, says the proposal will undo all the gains made in the sector, especially under motor vehicle insurance. According to Aki Chief Executive Officer Tom Gishuhi, motor vehicle insurance accounts for 34% of the insurance business. However, owing to tough economic times, a significant number of motor vehicle owners are operating under third-party policies, a situation that could be worsened by the proposals in the finance bill. The proposal in the finance bill of 2024, if approved by parliament, is set to push up the cost of motor vehicle insurance by 2.5%. This could see insurance customers pay at least 7.5% per year from the current rate of 4 to 5% of the total value of the car. A move that, if implemented, will see motorists opt for cheaper insurance policies such as that party, an issue that the Association of Kenya Insurers now says will leave motorists exposed in case of an accident. You are exposing those Kenyans to a lot of future problems because you are having an asset which is like three, four million is out there. You do not have comprehensive cover. The moment you get involved in an accident, you don't get compensated. What would that mean to Kenyans? You are making Kenyans even a lot more poor. It tells you there's a lot of people with motor vehicles today that are either not using them, to ground them, or driving them without insurance. Because in my view, we should be looking to, because insurance plays two roles. There is protecting the vehicle owner, but even mandatory by law, they need, we need to protect the third parties from the actions of motorists. The underwriters have taken issue with the five-day timeline to remit the money, noting that it will put pressure on their business, even as others question whether insurance companies provide the right avenue for collection. The, that tax is going to have a monumentous impact on motor insurance premium. Mm -hmm. And you know motor, as I said earlier, accounts for about 34% of all the, the premium that is written in this country on general insurance, on general insurances, 34%. Yeah. My view is that at the moment, there is people in Kenya who own cars who do not have even that, that particular. So, so I do not believe trying to tax at insurance point might help the government. I think there could be a more innovative way we could do this. And also we need to make tax affordable. The insurers are now calling on government to either lower the taxation rate from 2.5% of the motor vehicle value or even scrap the provision altogether, insisting that it could result in job losses in the sector and doing the gains made over the years. They have further asked the public to take advantage of the public hearing to help push back on the proposal. Jimmy Bogot, Citizen TV, Nairobi.